Hi, Timothy Unger here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Code OSS on a Chromebook using a flat pack. Now, in a previous video, I installed brackets using a flat pack on a Chromebook. You're going to go want to watch that if you haven't ever installed a flat pack. Uh, to give you a brief summary of what we need to do, you're going to open up the terminal, run sudo apt install flatpak. You need then need to add the flatpak flathub repo. So you do it with this command. Restart Linux. Install your first package. Then you're going to want to run this command. And then after that, you can install additional packages. Now I'm at step six, where I've already installed brackets here via a flatpak. So I'm going to install an additional package, Code OSS, in this video. I'll leave a link in the description that goes into more detail as well on how to install a flat pack on a Chromebook. So check that out if you're having any issues. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to open up a tab here and I'm just going to search FlatHub. Okay. And we'll see FlatHub and App Store and Build Service for Linux. We'll click on that. And we want to search for code-oss. Okay, make sure code and then hyphen OSS is there. Okay, so I've got code OSS here. And instead of clicking install here, I'm going to scroll on down. And we're going to copy this command here. So flatpak install flathub com.visualstudio.code-oss. Okay. All right. So... I'm going to paste this into a terminal here and hit enter. I'll say yes, and I'm going to say yes to this as well. Now, one note with Code OSS, why is this different than VS Code? Code OSS is a truly open source build of Microsoft's Visual Studio Code. Microsoft, the Visual Studio Code, is built upon open source, but they do add some proprietary elements. Uh, to VS Code, which, and, and tracking is enabled by default. Now you can disable tracking. I don't think Microsoft's doing anything malicious here. Uh, you know, it's actually quite awesome that they are offering a free text editor of this quality. That being said, you may want a truly uh, non-tracking, truly open source build. If that's the case, Code OSS may be for you. Okay, so I'm going to let this run through and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, you'll see that uh, the installation has run. So now if I open up my launcher and go search here and look through my apps, let's see, it went past it. Uh, I may need to run the command again, so let me do that. So let me just copy this command. Okay, and we'll go here. And I'm going to paste that and hit enter. Let's see if we have this. Uh, oh, here we go. Code OSS. So let's fire up code OSS. And it's going to take a moment because it's the first time installing. Okay, and you'll notice when it uh, starts up for the first time, it does have this first run.txt, which explains a few things, a few changes you can make if you want to be able to access the entire system shell. But you can start with this and start with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript right away. Uh, and create start creating websites. It starts in restricted mode by default. You can change that. Uh, so yeah, this is basically a uh, completely open source build of Microsoft's Visual Studio Code. Um, and yeah, and you can get going with the editor. I hope you found this video uh, helpful. If you did, please give it a like and also consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, as it really does help the channel grow. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.